touching, compelling story of Danny Green, a homeless war veteran who's in a fight for his life, struggling to survive his battle with PTSD. I don't want to be nobody's project. You did not have any physical wounds. You were wounded. I am Susan McIntosh. We're at the, the Veterans Art Center. Phenomenal place. It's uh, really ministered to our son who is a disabled vet. And I just want to say that that movie tonight was off the charts. I can't wait until it is in DVD form because our friend owns the big military store in the Pentagon and I've been talking her into selling them and this story needs to get out. It brings healing and it brings hope and brings understanding. So, fire it up. Hi, I'm John Kaderberg, retired Army. Uh, I'm here at the Veterans Art Center, Tampa Bay. I'm a volunteer and I go into the Pinellas County Jail and also into West Care. And um, I have a few of my pieces here that I work with that the prisoners have created. Um, really, the, what this film has done for me is encouraging me to continue on uh, because this shows me an end result of people succeeding, how one man can succeed. I'm kind of in the, in the middle point where I'm volunteering for these prisoners and it's really encouraging to them to be seen, to have their artwork seen, but this film has really encouraged me to continue on because it shows me an end result of what the power of what art can do and what caring people, investing into other people's lives can do. So this film is very powerful, it's really encouraging me, and I think it's really going to um, multiply what I'm doing. So thank you very much for this film. My name is Marcus Clark and we are at the Veterans Art Museum. We just got done watching the film Art in the City featuring Cranston Cumberbatch. I just want to say about the film, it was a great movie, it was a great showing. It depicted what veterans actually are going through in this nation, in this city. And I think what Cranston was able to do was embody the character very you know, perfectly. He, he perfected the character and I think he is speaking not to just veterans when he did this film, he spoke to many people, he spoke to me and the movie is just great, it reminds me to be very compassionate toward people, anybody, not just vets, anybody homeless, anybody struggling, anybody going through anything because you don't know what anybody's struggle is and I think that's what the movie did for me. Three. Hi, my name is Miles Vanis, I'm here at Veterans Art Center in Tampa Bay, I'm a veteran, 100% connected with PTSD. Um, relate to this film a lot. Just a year and a half ago, I was homeless on the street. Uh, spent some time in jail, through a nasty divorce, lost my kid, hit rock bottom. And that's when I started seeking help for holistic means, the VA. I finally got myself back together. Now I run my own nonprofit called Operation Regroup. And I changed PTSD to post traumatic strength development. Because I believe if it doesn't kill you, it's going to be stronger. Uh, this movie really kind of moved me. I've, I've been through all those ropes, and now I'm at the point where I want to grab people and, and help them through the, the struggles I went through. This, this is a huge problem in, in America is our vets are losing 22 a day. That's one almost every hour of the day. I've lost more vets to suicide than I did in combat. The strongest, toughest, smartest man I've ever met. It's kicking our ass. 